how to introduce yourself in an interview. When you have an interview at an organization, you may need to introduce yourself several times to different people, including the receptionist, recruiter, and interviewers. How you present yourself contributes to the first impression people develop of you. You want to make sure the interviewers see your excellent communication and social skills, and that you can contribute to the organization's activities. In this video, we consider the best practices with examples for introducing yourself in an interview to leave a positive first impression. How to introduce yourself in an interview? The following are essential practices to consider when you introduce yourself. These practices include examples of what to say and how to behave to leave a positive first impression at interviews. 1. Research the organization and your interviewers. Researching the organization and your interviewers can help you feel more prepared for your interview. You can review its website to learn more about its vision, mission, and other areas of focus or activity. If you know who the interviewers will be, research them on networking platforms to learn more about them and their roles in the organization. This information can provide you with insights that you can use to connect with these individuals during your introduction and throughout the interview. Two. Prepare your introduction. Help yourself feel more confident before your interview by preparing a short greeting and introduction. You can prepare several introductions for different people you may encounter during the interview. For example, your greeting to a receptionist may include your name and purpose for visiting the organization. Meanwhile, your introduction to the interviewer can show your enthusiasm for the role and opportunity at the organization. For example, you may incorporate details from your research about the interviewer or organization organization to help you build reports and show your interest. The more you rehearse your greeting and introduction, the more familiar it will become, which can help ease your nerves when you have to introduce yourself in the actual interview. You can also rehearse your introduction with a friend to get feedback on whether you can come across positively. Beyond your greeting, they can assess your body language to ensure you look confident and comfortable. 3. Dress professionally for the interview. Wearing professional attire can help you make a positive first impression with potential employers. Organizations have different dress codes, so try to research this information before your interview to ensure you look appropriate. If possible, you can contact the recruiter or someone you know at the organization for details about its culture and dress code. When you can't find this information or still feels unsure, wear more formal clothing rather than casual to be safe. You can use these tips to help you dress professionally for an interview. Be yourself. While you may need to follow a dress code, you can still incorporate details that display your unique personality or style. Feeling good about what you are wearing can also help boost your confidence during the interviewing process. Keep the focus on yourself. Avoid wearing items that may distract your interviewers, such as extravagant jewelry and busy prints. You want to ensure their attention stays on you and your responses to help them determine you are the best person for the job. Plan your outfits. Start planning and organizing your clothing in the days before your interview. This step helps you ensure your clothes are clean and fit well, while also helping you avoid rushing to choose your outfits the morning of the interview. 4. Display excellent etiquette. Tickets. Always display good manners when interacting with the people you encounter during your interviewing process. Upon arrival, you may need to report to the receptionist. You can introduce yourself by providing your name, the title of the position you are interviewing for, and your interview time. For example, you may say, Hi, my name is John Smith. I am here for a 10 a.m. interview with Harris David regarding the systems analyst role. The interviewer may ask for the receptionist's opinion of you, so being polite light helps ensure you make a positive impression. Once you have checked in at reception, you may need to wait for the recruiter or interviewer to get you. While you wait, sit upright and rest your arms on the armrests or in your lap. Cross your feet at the ankle or rest them on the floor. When they arrive, stand up when meeting them and do the following when introducing yourself. Use confident body language. Look the person in the eye and smile while shaking their hand firmly. Introduce yourself. When greeting the person, provide your full name and express your enthusiasm for the opportunity. Introduce yourself confidently with your full name. Use good manners. When the recruiter or interviewer introduces themselves, you can respond 
on with it's a pleasure to meet you repeat their name aloud to help you remember it and thank the person for guiding you if they are not staying for the interview five be aware of your body language as you introduce yourself to new people monitor your body language non-verbal communication can convey how you feel so you want to ensure it provides a positive representation as mentioned consistent eye contact and smiling can help you appear engaged while speaking with others standing or sitting upright straight can also make you seem more confident when speaking which can help you establish trust with interviewers 6. Greet the interviewer If your interviewer enters the room where you have been waiting, stand up to greet them. Display confidence by smiling, stating your name and extending your hand to shake the ass. Even when the interviewer knows the purpose of your meeting, give a brief statement explaining who you are and the position to which you are applying. Here are examples of how to introduce yourself. Good morning, I am John Kenneth. It's wonderful to meet with you to talk about the research associate role on your consulting team. Hi, I am Jane Simon. I am pleased to meet you. I am excited to discuss the business analyst position on this systems implementation project with you. 7. Make your professional introduction. After greeting the interviewer, you can give them a copy of your CV. If they don't have one, you may extend a few pleasantries before the interview starts. Hiring manager's first question is often, tell me about yourself or something similar. Preparing your response beforehand can help you focus your answer on the qualifications that make you the best fit for the role. If they do not ask questions immediately, you can use the silence to begin your elevator pitch and summarize your professional background and interest in the position. Here are two examples of effective elevator pitches. I am a graphic designer with over 10 years of experience. I specialize in creating unique user-friendly website templates. I am excited to grow my management skills in this role to develop my own team. I have over six years of experience in bookkeeping and have worked mostly with small businesses. If your small business needs a reliable bookkeeper, I would be happy to discuss the possibility of us working together. 8. Monitor your behavior during the interview. Your introduction to potential employers continues as you interview for the job. You want to ensure you leave a positive impression of yourself to convince them you are an excellent candidate. Remain calm during your interview and let your personality show. Interviewers assess candidates to determine if they are someone they would like to work with and if they would fit with the culture in their organization or team. If the interviewer asks you a question you cannot immediately answer, it's appropriate to respond with, let me have a moment to think about that question before answering. Nine. Ending the interview. The end of the interview signals the end of your introduction to the interviewer. During the closing of your interview, thank them for their time and consideration. You may also repeat your interest in the job opportunity. As you leave, show your professionalism by shaking their hand and maintaining eye contact. Here are some examples of phrases you can use to end the interview on a positive note. It was a pleasure to meet you. I appreciate the time you have given me today. Thank you for a great conversation. I hope you enjoy the rest of the Day. I appreciate hearing more about the role. I hope to hear from you soon. 10. Send a follow-up after the interview. You can continue leaving a positive impression on your potential employer by sending a follow-up email or handwritten note after your interview. In your message, thank the interviewer for taking the time to discuss the job opportunity with you. You can also use a note to reiterate your enthusiasm for the position and highlight how your experience and qualification align with the role's requirements. Before sending your letter, review it carefully to ensure it does not have spelling or grammar errors. Hi, thanks for watching to the end. I hope this video has been informative and helpful. If you like this video and you would like to see more contents like this, kindly like, share, leave a comment in the comment section and also please subscribe to this channel if you have not already subscribed yet. Thanks for watching to the end. Have a nice day and look out for the next video.